-hmm. She's got such an insane vocal range though to be able to hit these low notes and then also go higher and hit these higher notes. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to another of my reaction videos. In these videos, I break down, analyze, and talk about all the different aspects of your favorite songs. A lot of these actually are requests, so if you have any requests, you can leave a comment below, or you can text me and more than that in a second. Uh, but I break them down, talk about the music, the lyrics, the production, the engineering, and the vocals, all the different aspects to help you guys enjoy your favorite songs just a little bit more. If you want to text me to say what's up, or if you have any requests or have any questions, you can text me at one 875 uh, and if you want to check out my music, like I said, I'm a musician myself. It's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen. And lastly, we got some merch in. I'm pumped that we're wearing, I'm wearing my own merch, man. It's sick. So if you want to check that out, uh, it'll be in the, the description below. You can check that out. All right, let's see what we got. This is No Time to Die, live from the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show, uh, James Bond version. I think that it, I think it's sick. I really actually hope that to some degree we don't go back to this live feel of uh, the, the Tonight Shows and stuff where I like that these artists are able to create these really cinematic, really cool live live versions for to send to the Tonight Shows rather than just playing a live set right on their stage. I think that this is sick. Before we even get started, I want to say that when I first heard this song, like that they released it, immediately I got movie vibes from it. Like they they did an incredible job of, of creating a cinematic feel within just the music itself, um, as opposed to just creating a song and then being used by a movie. They created like they almost put like the movie feel into this song, repeating that same melody just an octave down now. So Billy has this very, very, very distinct, obviously, singing style, but also vocal recording style. Uh, one thing that's very specific about her is that she she has this very, what we would call, like, compressed sound to it, because not in the sense of, like, her voice is compressed, but actually she sings so close to the microphone, and she whispers so much that they actually push so much of her volume that you can hear every, like, syllabus, every, like, lip smack, every time she, like, moves her tongue, and you it creates this very ASMR vibe to her 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 singing it also adds this depth and level of uh intimacy to it. you feel like you're like right there with her you feel like you're connected to her because you're so it almost sounds like it's so close to you just goes to show that the blood you bleed is just the blood you own it's a lot of mid-range going on here though i personally feel like it's a little much of the mid-range um just with the reverb and stuff i kind of would scoop a little of that out. We were there. Her vocal vibrato is insane, though. But I saw you there too much to bear. You were my life, but life. All right, so obviously you're able to tell that this isn't live because the, the watcher, when she says bear, watch her pull away the mic and she's still singing, but obviously her mic's not connected to her. Too much to bear. See, she's still singing bear with the vibrato, but she pulled away the microphone. So um, that's totally like, that's typical. What Typically what they do is they create, they record this live version, um, myself included, and like then you lip sync over the live version just to get to get like this better recording um that's typically what's going on my life but life is far away from fair was i stupid to love you she's got such an insane vocal range though to be able to hit these low notes and then also go higher was and hit these higher notes to help? was it obvious to everybody amazing that it's been a minute and 30 and it's still just the vocals and her her voice and it, like you don't feel like you need anything else because they're both like she, her voice is so powerful man 
And I feel like you focus more on her voice and the notes and her the sound of her voice than you actually do even the lyrics of the song. Her love, you were never on my side. For me was for I like how the piano matches the melody right there. Vocal vibrato is really crazy, man. I, let it burn. I like how apparent the piano is here. Like it's it's really full and really big sounding. Slide up in that note. I fall for life. You were never on my side. For me. Some pretty cool recording going on here. Like, so it looks like they're probably filming on a crane, how it's moving through all these different areas, and now it's really high. It's probably a crane that's recording it. Once for me twice. It also looks like it's all straight in one take. What sucks though is like if you mess, like if, if something messes up, like now with three minutes in, then you have to record the whole thing all over. So what they probably did is they probably recorded three or four takes of this and just picked the best one. That's sick, the bright and the lights on the side. That was cool. Typical seventh chord ending on that James Bond. Very cool. All right, well, as always, you can leave a comment if you want me to react to and break down any of your favorite songs. If you want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen, at Music, Spotify, Pandora, all the different areas. So if you want to check it out, it mean a lot to me. Text me 1-833-575-0948. If you have any questions, want to say what's up, or have any requests, or check out the new merch. I'll see you guys next time. God bless and peace out.